Hello guys, you're welcome again to another After Effects tutorials and today I want to show you how you can create this amazing modern logo animation reveal in Adobe After Effects without the use of any third party plugin. So support me on this one do not forget to like the video subscribe to the youtube channel then turn on the notification come back let's get started now in adobe after effect we're gonna start with a new composition feel free to choose your own setting any setting will work right here then make sure the duration is 10 seconds then you hit ok Right click on your timeline, go to new and then add a new solid layer. We're going to name this BG and make sure it is black. Fit to comp and then hit OK. So it is time now to bring in our logo to the project. Drag and drop the logo into the project manager window. We're going to set the composition as the option then hit OK. So we're going to expand the folder it has added, then select the main logo icon right here and then place it into the project. So we're going to scale this down. And I'm also going to move it a bit down. Control Shift C to pre-compose this. Name this logo holder. Make sure you select move all attributes to the new composition, then you hit OK. Now we're going to add a fill effect to this logo holder composition. Make sure you change the color to somewhat dark gray. Then you hit OK. I'm going to add CC light sweep to this. Set the shape to smooth. And then set the width to 100. Set the sweep intensity to 75. The edge intensity to zero. And the edge thickness to zero. Now we're gonna make sure we move this position to the center. And then we're gonna come to zero right here and set a keyframe for the direction. Then we'll move forward in time to about three seconds forward in time. And then just rotate it like this. Hit U on your keyboard to reveal the keyframes. Select the two keyframes. Hit F now on your keyboard to easy ease. Now let's add Vegas effect. Collapse all these other options so that you can see your effect properly. Check this randomized face. We're going to set it to over transparent. And we're going to set the width to 1.2. Set the start opacity to 0 set the midpoint opacity to 1, set segment to 2, expand the image contour and set the threshold to 34, change the color to white. Now we're going to add a simple choker, set choke mat to negative 2, move your time indicator back to 0, we're going to set a keyframe for the length and set that to 0. Then move your time indicator to about close to two seconds forward in time. Set the length to 0.600. Then move your time indicator to about four seconds forward in time and then set the length again to zero. Move your time indicator back to zero. Set a keyframe for the rotation. And then move your time indicator to about four seconds 15 frames and set the rotation to 1 by 300. Now we have this beautiful. Hit you on your keyboard to reveal all your keyframes and then easy ease all of these keyframes. Duplicate this logo holder composition. At the bottom one, we're going to add CC radial fast blur. Collapse other effects so that you can see the CC radial blur. So what we're going to do, we're going to set the zoom to brightness. 
set the amount to 96. And we're going to hit T on our keyboard on this layer to reveal the opacity and drop this opacity to about 75. Now hit U on your keyboard to reveal the keyframe. We're going to come here at zero and set a keyframe for the center and then move the center to the top. Then we're going to come back right here to about this point, this last keyframe right here and move the center to the bottom. This is what we have. Beautiful. Add this particular asset to your project manager window. Then you're going to drop this into the, the timeline. You can find this particular asset right in the project files. You can find the link to download this in the description. We're going to set the mode to screen. Then hit T on your keyboard to reveal the opacity. We're going to animate the opacity to fade in and then fade out at four seconds. Beautiful. Right click on your timeline, go to new and add a new adjustment layer. We're going to add the hue and saturation effect to this adjustment layer. On the hue and saturation option down below it, you can see the colorize this. Check it. Move your time indicator to where you can see some of these rays. Then we're going to increase the colorize saturation to 50. So you can move this to change the color to whatever you may like. I'm going to stop at this. Now go back to your project manager window and then we're going to drag the logo holder composition again into the timeline and we're going to add a fill color to it. Let's set this to light gray. Then you hit OK. Let's add the linear wipe to this layer. Move your time indicator to 1 second 23 frames and set a keyframe for the transition completion. We're going to move to 4 second 29 frames and then set the value to 100. I'm going to move to this point. So we're going to set the feather to 100 and then we're going to rotate this. That is, I'm rotating the wipe angle. Feel free to choose the side you want. I think I am okay like this. If you preview now, this is what you're going to have. Beautiful. Pick the ellipse tool and make sure no layer is selected. Then you draw a big cycle like this. Align it to center. Hit Y on your keyboard to move the anchor point to the top left corner of the screen. Hit S on your keyboard to animate the scale. Move your time indicator to 3 second 14 frame. Set a keyframe for the scale and change the value to 0. Move your time indicator to 8 second 21 frames and change the value of the scale to 100. Select your keyframes. Hit F9 on your keyboard to easy ease. Now you're going to have this. Beautiful. So on this ellipse shape layer, we're going to add turbulence displays. Set amount to 171. Set size to 16. And complexity to 1.7. Go to the evolution. Hold down the Alt key on your keyboard. If you are on Mac, that is Option key. Then click on the evolution. We're going to enter this expression time asterisk 600 we're going to select the ellipse shape layer and duplicate it then we're going to set one of it the stroke to none and then set the fill to any color of your choice 
then switch this to project manager window then drag the logo holder composition again right below the shape layer so we're going to set the track mat to alpha inverted select the shape layer with the stroke we're going to add a glow effect to this duplicate the glow we're going to set the intensity to 5 and we're going to set the radius to 20 then we need to duplicate it again set the intensity to 2 and then set the radius to 60 so we're going to switch this again to project manager window and then drag the logo holder composition again into the timeline this time around on top of this shape layer then we set the track mat to alpha mat and it's going to give you this beautiful now right click on your timeline go to new and add a new null object we're going to name this master control then we need to align this to center. Select everything on your timeline. Control A to do that, except the master control itself. The, the BG layer and the adjustment layer. Make everything a child of the master control. scrub to where the logo is almost complete hit s on your keyboard to reveal the scale property for the controller and set a keyframe and make the value 120 come back to zero and make the value 160 go back to this point right here and create another keyframe then you come back to about this point where this is revealing the original logo and set the value for the scale to 100. Select all your keyframe, hit F now on your keyboard to easy ease. Hold down the shift key, then hit P on your keyboard to reveal the position property. We're going to set a position keyframe right here. Just at this point where the logo is finishing up. Then we're going to move forward in time and move the position up a bit. This will allow us to have our text right below the logo. Also easy is the keyframes. Now it is time to add the text and then animate the opacity coming in. After I added the text that came with the logo, then i then animated the opacity and that gave me this by the way i got this logo from freepick.com feel free to go there they have amazing free stuff right there so this is how you can create an amazing modern logo animation right inside adobe after effect without the use of any third party plugin feel free to explore more options and then experiment to get a different result if you learned something new on this video please hit the like button that will enable the algorithm to suggest this to more people if you have any question please feel free to ask me in the comment section and i'll reply to all questions as quick as i can if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please subscribe to my youtube channel you can support me in any way you can give me super thanks subscribe to my membership whatever way you want to support me with even if you share the video that is also a huge support and it is highly appreciated if you like the video leaving a comment is all a support so in whatever way you are able to support me i highly appreciate you so until i see you again on the next one my name is ssb otaru from motion digit studios